A crazy crash in Pennsylvania sends a car into the second story of a home. Check it out. You can see the car wedged into the, <coughs> excuse me, the roof. This happened over the weekend. Police say it was no accident. They said the driver purposely hit a pipe, sending the car airborne and into the house. A motive not clear right now, but the driver is facing charges. No one inside the home was hurt. Lizzo's first concert since she was hit with that lawsuit filed by three of her former dancers is now canceled. The singer was supposed to headline the Made in America Festival in Philly next month. The festival is giving everyone refunds. Lizzo is accused of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. She denies all the claims. Transgender employees at a Florida school district are not allowed to share their preferred pronouns. The district is issuing that guidance to comply with state law. Students and staff will also be required to use bathrooms that follow their biological sex at birth. Governor Ron DeSantis signed two bills earlier this year. One has restrictions on teaching about sex and human sexuality. The other has rules on using bathrooms. Voters in Ohio have been at the polls all day to determine the future of abortion rights in that state. A referendum on the ballot would make the state constitution harder to amend. That measure will have direct bearing on a November ballot question about abortion rights. If issue one passes, voters would need to pass the November referendum by more than 60 percent instead of just a simple majority. Things didn't go as planned when suspects tried to use a forklift to steal an ATM in California. You can see one suspect pull up while the other rams a forklift right into the machine. Then came the great escape until the ATM toppled off the truck. The thieves ended up giving up and leaving the ATM in the middle of a crowded street a few blocks away. The suspects are still on the run. They say a dog is a man's best friend, but this pup may have taken it to heart a little too much. The man that is petting the dog is actually a thief. Police in San Diego say the man entered that garage to steal an expensive bike. He paused to pet the dog. When he was about to leave, the dog walked into the garage and, of course, made friends with the suspect, it appears. The man can be heard telling the dog, you're the coolest. He still walked off with that bike.